Do you need to make the wall thickness on your tube a little bit thinner so maybe a tube coupler can go in? In this video, I'm going to show you how to peel out a layer of paper from the inside of a body tube for a model rocket. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. In a previous video, I showed you how to peel off the outside layer of a tube coupler. In this video, I think I'll show you how to peel out the inside layer on a body tube. Now, the technique is somewhat similar and a little bit different, and it's also a little easier and a little harder. <laughs> so. Uh, the technique is we're going to try to get a hobby knife in there and lift up the, the paper to start it peeling out. So that's where it's similar to the coupler. Where this is a little bit easier is when they wind these tubes, they always put the thickest layer of paper on the bottom. Not all layers are the same thickness when they make a spiral wound tube. They, if the tube has a heavy wall, they're going to put some thick paper in the um, and initially so that they can get it up real thick really quick. Um, so by using a thick wall tube, you can peel out a little bit easier. The problem is the tube is typically longer and it's harder to peel out when you're going so deep inside a tube. So um, I'm going to start by finding the seam on the inside and, and there it is. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to get my knife in there and I'm going to lift up the edge. I'm going to get deep enough in there to make sure I got it. Okay, so I got it and then I'm going to lift it up even more with a pair of tweezers. Okay, so I got the edge right here. Now I want to take the tweezers and grab it and then just start spinning the tweezers and it's going to wrap it around the tweezers. Um, if it's going to be a really long tube, you might want to switch to something that has longer le length. Um, this is like a hemostat and then I, I picked this up at uh, a hardware store. And I also found a smaller one for smaller tubes um, where you can get in there, grab that paper and you just start winding it up. See, I'm, I'm kind of twisting the tube, and at the same time, I'm twisting my, my hemostat. And as you're twisting it around, you'll notice that the part of the hemostat sticking out of the tube is getting closer and closer and closer in. That's why it's kind of nice to have a longer pair. Um, if you're going to go really long, um, what you can do, let me, let me back this out. I'll show you another technique here. You can get a long dowel like this one right here. And what I've done is on the very end of it, I've cut a slot with a knife like that. And that allows me to get the paper in there like that. And then I can start winding this up. Do it the right way. And this way, as I go in, you know, the, the whole dowel is also going in. As you're peeling it out, I'm in there pretty deep and it, it's going to get harder and harder. But that's basically the technique. I'm probably a good three or four inches in right now. It's, you know, you can't see it inside there. Um, but, you know, that's the technique on how to peel out the inside of a body tube. Um, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to get more of these videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get an email whenever we release a new video. 
My name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.